about the drones over the Kremlin. Whatever happened, one thing is certain, what a R Russian lieutenant general says, what he's claiming, he says the war is changing and now directly threatens all the superpowers on the planet. The attack on the Kremlin using unmanned aerial vehicles, drones that is, is a good test for t uh, testing Moscow's air defense system, he says. And this was stated by the Russian Major General Sergei Lipovoy in an interview on the Telegram channel News Russia. And regardless of the geopolitical motivations behind the alleged uh, Kremlin drone attack, which Russia blames on Ukraine and which Ukraine uh, denies, the war is now shifting to the realm of new technologies, which are cheap and accessible to everyone, and they comment in Moscow. The drone could have been launched from somewhere in the Moscow region. It could fly at the lowest possible height of about 300 to 400 meters, that's uh, 1,000 feet above the ground. High-rise buildings could act as a shadow veil for a drone to reach the center of Moscow, Pravda comments. In other words, the drone could be coming from another nearby apartment building, and who would know about this, obviously? Now, the minimum size of the object does not matter now, as we have multi-layer air defense, we have thermal imaging, night vision systems to monitor strategic objects in Moscow, so any object the size of a bird would be detected, reassures Lipovov, and he adds... Anyone can assume, assemble a UAV drone in any garage these days from a piece of plywood, a couple of electronic motors and a control unit, and it's ready. The Russian security forces will find out who assembled and used the drone that attacked the Kremlin on the night of May 3rd, the general concluded. However, it's not excluded that the drone attack was orchestrated by Russia itself in order to justify specific actions that follow in relation to the Operation Ukraine. In any case, now even the superpowers must be ready to face a new micro-technology of war. This I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.